Hello, this is Dee Damson and today we are going to paint a tree frog with watercolor and I am going to do a really quick sketch. Also, I will have that sketch available for you on my Facebook page and the link will be in the description below to follow that. And on Facebook also I have a lot of other sketches and links to videos so if you're looking for something to do it will be all there and of course the little sketch will be absolutely free for you but I'm just going to run real fast through the sketch just to explain what I was doing so the head is an oval broken in the middle by a wiggly line representing the lips the mouth and then I have two circles for eyes one is going to be kind of behind the oval so it's not going to be a full circle. Then we have the body which is a trapezoid. We have the little fingers with circles on the ends and then I'm going to connect them with a letter C in between to create this uh, finger, froggy fingers or froggy hands and the arms will be very very simple because we have uh, little lines um, and I'm going to emphasize the volume of that line just to make the arm a little bit thicker but pretty much that's it for the froggy um, I'm adding kind of a leg on the back because I have to um, just to make it look more realistic but you don't really see much of it and this is going to be the sketch so I'm gonna erase most of that so it doesn't interfere with our painting and I'm leaving only the important uh, lines. So our eyes are orangey yellow so I'm starting with the lighter color which is yellow and I'm going to do the same thing with for the body which will be a greenish color but also green and yellow create a very nice uh, lighter green so I'm gonna use that to tone down my green and I'm using wet on dry so I have a lot more control over my paint versus if I have a wet surface and I'm just dropping the colors in so also I'm adding a little bit of blue and it's a turquoise blue with my grain just to give that bluish greenish look and we still we see the underbelly of the frog and the frog underbelly is a lighter color the shadows and I just did the lines and the bends on the underbelly and then softened that with just a wet brush so this beautiful orange color for the hands and then just three fingers on the other side because it's holding to a leaf adding a little bit more darker red color on the one side and that will be kind of like my shadow and now I can go back to the eye and add a little bit more reddish orangey color and with the water I'm just dabbing around that line that I just added and we want to add a little bit green around the eye 
so it sticks out and makes it look bigger. Just a little purple on the shadow parts on the belly. Same thing I'm gonna do for the fingers. And also the hands and the legs yeah, have top and bottom, so the bottom part is not green. So before you paint this, um, go online and just view tons of pictures just to get an idea of the color and the shapes and everything. It will help you a lot. So there's the back leg. And I added kind of a nice greenish blue and of course I'm going to go around and touch up um, other areas because I didn't mix that greenish blue so I just wanted to make sure it goes around. It makes more sense. There is the blue part on the bottom of the leg. So green on the top, blue on the bottom. So the eyes are dry, we can go back in and add that darker color. So my black is mixed with blue. And I want to leave a little bit of white speck somewhere in the eye, kind of top center. And I'm barely touching with the tip of the brush with that bluish black and just emphasizing on parts that are getting lost just with a little dot or a slight line nothing gets completely outlined there's the two nostrils and I can add a little more shadow around the fingers Froggy looks like a froggy. And for the background, I'm just going to add a very light variation of different greens. And I'm going to try to stay away um, or not to add too much of the green and the blues that I added to the frog. So there will be a little bit but not too much because I don't want to take away from the frog. Dropping the color in, moving it around a little bit of water. Back in here. So sometimes when I go from my main object to the background. It's almost like I'm taking a break and then I'll go back and add a few little details, kind of like I, with a fresh eye. So 
so I'm just emphasizing it a little bit darker color. You can do darker green, you can do black, you can do blue, whatever makes you happy. Just darker than what the area is. And pretty much that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. And happy paintings! See you next time!